In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four arrow options with shadow effect in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. When I click, the first shadow comes. You can see here I've given the green color there. And then you can add the step one along with the icon and the detailed text. And I've added the shadow effect at the bottom. And when I click, the second arrow comes with a different color combination then the option three or the arrow three and then the arrow four likewise i have created one more slide where i have just given some gray color so this is the first one with the gray color effect then second third and fourth so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the the arrow options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to insert the arrow so go to insert shapes and the arrow which i'm looking for is not available here so the arrow which i want is available in the smart art so let me just go to the smart art all right and let me just scroll it down and the arrow which i'm looking for is this one you can see here the upward arrow i'm going to select that click ok now the arrow has been inserted so now i'm going to just select the arrow press ctrl c to copy click outside and right mouse click and paste it all right so you can see here separate arrow has been pasted now this smart art i'm going to select and delete it i don't need the smart art all right now the arrow is big okay you can just reduce the size if you want or you can keep it the same size but i'm going to cut the size so go to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle and i'm going to how much uh, the size of the arrow I need I'm just going to select that one you can see here this part which I've selected I, I want to delete it so first let me just select this arrow hold the shift key select the rectangle merge shape and you can just subtract it so we end up getting a shape something like this all right now you can do a further modification like right mouse click edit point and you can see here you can move this up all right something like this you can move it here and this one you can make it more curved you want all right so you can see here something more curved you can make it so whichever way you feel you can just change this one all right so let me just do it properly so I end up getting a shape something like this all right again if you want you can just change it a little bit i'm going to make it more upwards and if you feel that the size is not okay again you can just make the edit points and then you can align it properly all right so let it be like this all right and if you want you can make it a smaller shape also a smaller size also and depending on your requirement you can adjust the width so we end up getting a shape something like this and now i'm going to give some 3d format for this so right mouse click go to format shape and maybe i'm going to give some gray color for this all right or we can give a gradient fill also if you want and then you can just go to the effects 3d rotations presets under perspective you can see here i'm going to choose uh, this one perspective relax all right so it doesn't look uh, the color it's not there so let me just give some darker color here all right now it is visible i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then i'm going to the effects again 3d rotation the depth i'm going to give maybe say 20 so it comes something like this now depending on your requirement whether you want to keep it gray color or you want to give some different color so let's give some different color maybe i'm going to give green color all right then i'm going to select this one and bring to front and just paste exactly on top of this all right something like this and then i'm going to select both of this press ctrl g to group it and if you want you can just further make something like this all right 
now once this is done i'm going to give a shadow effect because shadow plays a very important role here so go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to select the freeform shape and then from here i'm just going to click it you can see here like this like this this one till here all right shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to make it full black and then i can make it somewhat transparent okay and then you can just go to the effects go to the soft adjust increase the soft edges here all right now if you want to give more depth whatever you can right mouse click edit points you can see here i can just give select the point and give it more curved all right so here also i'm selecting and i'm giving it more curved look all right and if you want to increase the size also you can just increase the size all right and i'm going to place it something here and send this to back now if you want you can give some gradient fill for this so select the gradient fill so i'm going to select maybe uh, one stop where i'm going to give a black color and direction should be like this the black should come here and i can give somewhat a gray color here and here i'm going to give more lighter color here so you can see here i can just play with this all right so the first arrow is ready so i'm going to select all these things press ctrl g to group it press ctrl d to duplicate and go to rotate and i'm going to make it flip horizontal and i'm going to place it here all right now these two i'm selecting both press ctrl d to duplicate and i can add two more here now depending on your requirement whether you want four five six you can reduce the size and place it in the proper position all right so now i'm just going to cover this with one small rectangle select the rectangle draw the rectangle exactly in the center shape outline no outline shape fill make it white align center now these things i'm just going to move it here all right so you can end up getting a shape something like this now i'm going to select this here when you see the green color let me just change it to some blue color here and here i'm going to change this to maybe a purple color and for this i may change to some orange color all right so our basic design is ready now it's time to add the detailed text along with the some icons and if you feel that you need to add one more arrow for example let me just select all these four bring it down all right at the beginning and then i can just add one more here by pressing ctrl d you can see here i can add it one more but the problem is here i don't have the space so i need to reduce it so time being let me just go with the four only then go to insert text box i'm going to say suppose this one as step one i'm just going to select step one step one only the one of number one i'm going to select this make it bold increase the size and change the color according to the color which i have chosen here all right so this is my step one press ctrl d i'm going to add to the right now right i'm going to make it right align all right and press ctrl d and this is for this option then again just change the colors so this is one this is two this is three and this is four so let me just change the color according to the color which i've selected on the arrows so this will be purple this will be blue and this will be orange all right and then you can go to insert text box add detail text here again this is right aligned reduce the size all right and just place it here press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to place it next to the option four here i'm going to make it left align 
and I'm going to place it here press ctrl D and I'm going to place it here and again make sure that it is properly aligned all right and press ctrl G to group it so with this we have completed the basic design and then you can add some animation to it so close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the step one and i'm going to give a wipe effect wipe and give a option from left all right so it comes something like this and for this i'm going to add animation go to more entrance effect stretch click ok and stretch from left and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this now the same thing i'm going to select and click on this so here instead of left it should be from right and again this also i'm going to select animation again this also from right all right so this is my second option so this is i'm going to copy the animation painter for the fourth you can see here and then i'm going to select this animation painter on this and then this one the text of second to fourth so let me just play now so the first comes second third and fourth 